Got the Milwaukee heated jacket from I Milwaukee Rocket Lights. And the Snow Joe electric so snowblower. I can't regret leaving you alone until you find your way back home. Find your way back home Out there I have the Milwaukee rocket light. It is so cold here. It's probably about nine, eight or nine degrees. I've been out here for five minutes. My iPhone is froze. It turned off, it won't work. My GoPro is turned off, it won't work. I had to bring down my, my Canon camera and I don't want to take it out there but the rocket light is still out there running. So. I'm out here testing it, and this wasn't even a test I thought of, but it's so cold that my cameras won't work. My GoPro, it's made to be underwater. It's so cold, it will not work. That Milwaukee light is still out there working. That is absolutely incredible. This is just a test. I'm out here trying to use the Milwaukee light as a work light, like trying to see, trying to get my camera, like it's also a camera light out there, and I'm like, the only piece of equipment that's still out there running is that Milwaukee light. That's pretty incredible. So, right there's a test. I don't know if it's made to be outside in cold degree or out in the snow. It's still snowing out there a little bit. I don't know. But it still works and it's made for the job site. So, the fact that this is my job site and it's working. So, that is absolutely incredible. I just thought I'd turn on this camera it was a definitely a big deal for me. <laughs> and I'm out of breath. But that Milwaukee light is still out there running. <laughs>
important stuff is still off the ground with the tripod legs. I'll show you guys that in a second. And I've actually been meaning to do a review on this. And I was like, it's so cold outside, we're not doing any work outside. But then it snows and I bring that out here. I'm like, I was making a snow removal video, but now I'm making the review because this is it at work. And look at it, it's just sitting there still pretty and shiny, but it work like it's continuing to work no matter what the conditions are. So when I was out here playing with it, when I got it, and it was, you know, 75 degrees outside, it was working perfect, it was a bright light, it was real cool, it was awesome. But the fact that it's about five to 10 degrees at the most, and snowing and icing, all, everything's iced over. You know, there's cars out here slipping and stuff, barely getting up the road. It's that cold, my cameras aren't working. But the fact that this work light is still out there working in the cold is absolutely impressive. So I wanna go over my final thoughts. The durability of this thing is awesome. Even though it's made of a very, like it's like a thick plastic. Uh, you know, I was kind of throwing it around just a little bit just to make sure the durability is there because, you know, this is for construction sites and things like that. So, I, you know, it nothing's going to break on it from my test. From what I've done, you know, it's very durable. Um, it works just how it's supposed to. Turn on the light. You've got three different modes, low, medium, and high. Those work perfect. Um... I'm just trying to think of anything else you need. I mean, it's it's a light, it's a work light. And you saw me out there, I was actually using it tonight, it's like negative one or two degrees out. So, uh, I mean, it's working in any weather and you know, even though I don't know if it's supposed to be out there, but it was working for me because that's, that's what I was using it for tonight. And uh, you know, that thing is super bright, super versatile, you have those three different lights that you can move around on the head, you can adjust the height and adjust the angles on all of them. So you can move around the light and really get 360 light wherever you need. And uh, the battery life's incredible on that. I mean, it really is. So I've been using it for a long time and I mean, I've still got like half battery. So, I mean, I've had that thing on forever and it's still running perfectly. One battery lasts a long time, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's the ending uh, of the video. I mean, it's an awesome, awesome light. So if you're looking for a work light for construction or outside or whatever you use it for, I highly recommend the Milwaukee Rocket Light. I think it's the M18 Rocket Light. So, I mean, it's really awesome for what I, from what I've used of it, what I've seen. Hey, can't go wrong with it. That's my review, guys. Stay tuned to this very end of this video. You guys will see me in the Turf Magazine article. Yeah, I was just playing around, taking a little photo, and it turned out to be a little funny video. So you guys check that check that out. Appreciate the, the people over there at Turf Magazine uh, for putting us in there. And uh, that's it, all the exciting news. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful Christmas, because this is probably the last video. Um, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching the review, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Hi, right, guys. So I want to show you that this is still running, still has got battery. So let's take a look here. I did three driveways with this today and then the rest with a shovel. But I want to show you guys, I want to take out the batteries and show you, let's see if there's any. So there's two bars left, two of three. and. That's pretty good because it says a 45 minute runtime. And a lot of people, even myself, from the very beginning with batteries, dealing with batteries, think 40 minutes, not a long time. It's really not when you're in, in snow blowers, but I did three driveways with this and never had a problem. So, just like a trimmer, this is, it's 40 minutes constantly running with the self-propel and the auger running, and I'm sure the headlights and everything like that, that's 40 minutes of just holding that down power. So, when you think about it, just turning around, what does a driveway probably take? It probably takes, I'd say, 10 to 15 minutes.